Hi, my name is James Clem. I get a lot of questions about prep styles. <laughs> I think of it two ways. I'm really simple. It's either going to be macro retentive or it's going to be micro retentive or a combination of both. But it's the combination of both that you have to be careful with. So let's talk about macro retention. Now for me, that's something that's going to keep the gold crown in with zinc phosphate. <laughs> that goes way back to dental school for me. How am I going to define whether it's going to be macro or micro retention? It's this one aspect, and that is, it's all about the enamel. It's all about the enamel. So here's my criteria. If I have a millimeter and a half of enamel posteriorly on the rim, and circumference of that preparation, I can keep that in with my enamel bond. I don't rely on dentin to keep my restorations in place. I rely only on enamel. Keep that in mind. That provides a lot of conservative options. When that cervical area on a tooth is healthy, we don't have to drop the margin. When I don't have that enamel criteria, then I'm gonna prepare with an axial wall of four to five millimeters for a traditional type of prep. And with that, I have a lot of materials I can use. I can use Emax or a similar type of material. I want it rigid so it doesn't flex too much. I can use zirconium. Either way, it's gonna stay in for a long time when we use the proper cementation protocol. So I hope this helps. Understand that enamel defines how you're gonna keep a restoration in place if you're using micro adhesion retention. If you don't have enough enamel, you have to go with the traditional macro route of good parallel walls and good cementation technique. So I hope this helps. Keep prepping away.